Good night and welcome back to our nightly minute news. And here's what we have in the news tonight. Court rules second extension of DPP's tenure unconstitutional and St. Thomas Councillor blast NWC for not addressing residents' fears of flooding. Constitutional Court has ruled that a second extension of Director of Public Prosecutions, Paula Llewellyn's tenure in office is unconstitutional. The ruling was handed down Friday morning at the Supreme Court in downtown Kingston. Government last year's controversially amended the Constitution to increase the age at which the DPP should proceed on retirement from 60 to 65. The opposition People's National Party, in a lawsuit challenged the extension, which had followed a previous three-year extension in 2020 when Llewellyn turned 60. In the lawsuit filed in the Supreme Court, the claimants, Member of Parliament Philip Paulwell and Senator Peter Bunting, sought a declaration that Llewellyn should not have been allowed to remain in office beyond September 2023 when the 2020 extension ended. The ruling therefore means that the DPP has to demit office with immediate effect. King Council Michael Hilton, the representative for the claimant, said they are pleased with the ruling. The case is not about Miss Llewellyn. It's not about how she did her duties. It's not even really about the extension. The case is about the rule of law, about establishing a principle that the same laws apply to everybody and that the Constitution needs to be respected, Hilton told journalists. When we started our solution to this case, the first thing that we said is that the case is not about the school. It's not about how to do that. It's not even really about the extension of the case. The case is about the rule of law, about establishing a principle that the same laws apply to everybody. And that the Constitution needs to be respected. And we think that's what the case is slowly. We are appealing to the ruling, the result of the court effectively saying that the Constitution is not required to Everybody is here and not going to be Does this mean now that the DPP will have to step away from office? As of today. As of today. And there's no further challenge that she can make? Well, I don't know what the um, government can do this case, so we don't have to. What's your reaction? Well, I'll start pretty much the same way. We've always said that this was not about this area. And it's more to do with our fundamental belief and respect for the Constitution. It is also an important statement on governance. A lot of these things can be avoided in a if there is respect for the opposition in power. And this matter could have been dealt with by a conversation with the Prime Minister and the leader of the opposition, and which is what the Constitution requires. And if that were done and respect was given, then we wouldn't have this unfortunate situation of where a public servant is um, in embarrassed. So I regret that aspect of it, for sure. But I, I believe that um, the judgment was a good one. You mentioned that if there, if there was a conversation, um, you know, there would be more embarrassing talk. But I'm not sure if this question is when you are for the opposition or the, the opposition being minded there to agree on a further extension. The way a country is run is by people recognizing the role and position of each other, the roles and position. And sometimes these matters are settled by the leaders. In a room, you submit a very royal um, convert, and 
that is how a mature democracy operates. We shouldn't have to be in parliament one day summer to pass a law um, without the requisite respect and um, consultation with them. And I think this is fundamentally a commentary. Mr. Powell, given this ruling, can we expect to see the, the opposition challenge, bring in more matters like this in matters where they feel like, they feel like the government did not, you know, great, the post, some post of color did not control the you know, the these We are quite clear. Our role is to protect the integrity of the sovereignty of the constitution. And anywhere we see violations, we are going to do so. Thank you. Councillor for the Trinityville Division in St. Thomas, Dean Jones, is accusing the National Water Agency of sabotaging the residents of Old Road in Danvers, Penn. His comment follows Thursday's protest by residents over concerns about possible flooding. Mr. Jones said discussions were held with Chief Executive Officer of the National Water Agency, E.G. Hunter, but he said nothing has been done to uh, allay the fears of the residents. Calling the agency callous, Mr. Jones argued that the National Worker Corporation does not care about the people's plight. The Old Road residents protested after several appeals for river training work on the Negro River, which runs parallel to their community, were ignored. Those who were flooded out during heavy rainfall in November last year are on edge in light of the forecast for an active 2024 Atlantic hurricane season, which begins on June 1. The residents are also appealing for the Ministry of Labor to fulfill the promise to compensate those who suffered losses during floods last year. Are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in Jamaica? Discover it right here on Jamaica News Online TV YouTube channel. Foreigner home and you want to be in touch with the happenings in Jamaica? Guess what? You are in the right place. We bring you reactions to the latest news at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and straight up news at 6 p.m. Ask and you shall receive, guys. So if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment, or share, hit that subscribe button and remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch our videos. Remember, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. We are always here to give you... Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.